Hi everyone, welcome back to Pretty Well. Dr. Angela here with you. In this video, we're gonna focus on vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin, and an unsung hero in the area of great energy production and keeping antioxidant levels high. So I was reminded of the wonderful benefit of taking riboflavin the other week. I was having a day where my to-do list was so long and I was so stressed out and overwhelmed and it just dropped into my consciousness to reach for some extra riboflavin. And within moments, um, it just felt like somebody switched the light switch on. I had really clear, focused energy. My sense of well-being was just better and I was able to really handle my list and work for many hours longer than I think I would have been able to considering how tired I was in that moment before taking the riboflavin. So the reason riboflavin helps us to make more energy is that it's a precursor to the molecules FAD and FMN, which are part of the redox um, reactions in the body. So when we eat fats and carbohydrates and proteins, we use those macronutrients to make energy in the body. And vitamin B2 is um, a cofactor to help us in that redox reaction process. Uh, it's found in many foods. If you are plant-based, you can find it in almonds, broccoli, and I'll list these foods in the description box, um, asparagus. If you eat animal protein, you can find it in pretty much all animal proteins, um, beef, chicken, fish, eggs, dairy. Um, it's available in much lower concentrations than if you take it as a supplement. Um, so, you know, if you're feeling like you're having a low energy day, or if you just feel like you run low energy in general and you want to try something that's very safe and non-toxic to see if it helps you have better stamina, consider vitamin B2. Um, you can find it at the health food store. I'll also put a link in the dispensary um, in, in the description box below for the dispensary so you can find it there. But um, you can find 100 milligram capsules pretty easily. It will make your urine fluorescent yellow, so warning, but it's completely safe. So other than the change in the color of your urine, no side effects that are problematic at all. Um, so it will help you make more energy and it helps keep antioxidant status higher. Um, it is also very necessary for the metabolism of other key B vitamins, um, B6, folate, and niacin. So a lot of us have been hearing a lot about um, B6 because it's very helpful for hormone regulation, um, perhaps you've been hearing a lot about folate because of all the MTHFR mutations, niacin for things like healthy cholesterol. There's a lot of things that niacin helps with, but just, you know, a good thing to keep in mind that if you don't have enough riboflavin in your body, you may not be able to use the folate, niacin, and B6 that you're supplementing with. Um, many of you guys take uh, B complex or a multivitamin, but you can take additional riboflavin on top of those things to just kind of give yourself an extra boost. There have been other areas that um, riboflavin has been shown to help. Um, it is a preventive for people who suffer from migraines. Now again, migraines have um, multiple reasons that they happen. Stress can definitely trigger migraines. Hormone imbalance can trigger migraines, food intolerances. So we always wanna be getting to the underlying reason that we're having a health condition. But if there's something that's been studied that's non-toxic that has been shown to be helpful, in my opinion, it doesn't hurt to um, add that in if we haven't been able to resolve the issue yet. So migraines, anemia, and both macrocytic and microcytic anemia. And the reason is because, as we said, it helps um, with the metabolism of B6 and folate. Um, it also helps us with the metabolism of iron, so thereby helping with microcytic or macrocytic anemias, preventing those, and just helping us with good oxygen perfusion throughout the body. Um, what else do we need to know? Um, it's very helpful for uh, preeclampsia. If you have had a pregnancy where you had preeclampsia and you're 
perhaps worried about it happening again, um, consider taking extra B2 because it has been shown to decrease the risk of developing preeclampsia, which is the hypertension in pregnancy. It also helps with hypertension in other individuals, both men and women. Um, again, you know, hypertension, stress, genetics, um, underlying cardiovascular disease, there's a lot of reasons why we can have symptoms occur, but um, riboflavin is helpful in um, normalizing hypertension for some people. Anytime we are at risk of um, more oxidative stress, so people who do a lot of physical activity, lots of exercise, people who are athletes, people who have very labor intensive jobs, riboflavin would be a really good choice. It helps us recycle key antioxidants like glutathione. So it helps, down, it helps slow down cellular aging and damage. Um, in the long run, could then um, slow down things like cataract development, maybe age spots. All those things take a longer period of time, but we can proactively add that in. Um, so it's gonna basically help us with energy and um, mitochondrial protection. We know so much now about as we protect the mitochondria, that we really um, protect ourselves against many of the chronic degenerative illnesses that have underlying mitochondrial dysfunction. So as you can see, I'm really a fan of the idea of adding extra B2 because it's not toxic and it's helpful in so many of these areas. If you're somebody who has suffered from chronic low energy conditions like chronic fatigue syndrome, like hypothyroidism, like adrenal insufficiency, B2 would be a really good consideration. Also, if you're someone who consumes a lot of alcohol, extra riboflavin supplementation can be really helpful. Um, how do you know if you have a deficiency of B2? Well, it's not super common in the Western world to have a B2 deficiency, just because our food sourcing for the most part you know, is adequate. Um, but some symptoms that some people can develop are um, redness of the tongue, inflamed mucous membranes inside the mouth, so um, painful red uh, lining of the inside of the mouth, swollen tongue, cracks on the sides of the lips and also um, on the actual lips. You can see that develop. Um, having anemia where your hemoglobin is normal, that can be so low red cells, but normal hemoglobin, that can be a sign of riboflavin deficiency. You can definitely have your doctor test you, but it's so cheap to supplement with vitamin B2 that sometimes it's just easier to supplement rather than like going to get an extra blood test. And of course, if you're having symptoms that are not resolving, go into your doctor to get checked out. But um, you know, it's such a safe and easy way to address low energy or insufficient energy in the body that I vote take some extra riboflavin and see if you feel better. It, it, it's very quick, so um, you can take it ongoing, but um, you will also notice a benefit pretty immediately if um, you are feeling low energy and could use a little boost. So that's what I have for you on vitamin B2. I hope this was helpful. If you have anything extra you wanna add on vitamin B2, please chime in, add to the comments below. Um, please keep telling us what you want to learn about. Dr. Patty and I do our best to consider your topic content requests to make content for you every week. We do our absolute best to get to questions. Um, know that Dr. Patty and I typically are recording on weekends, after hours, and so um, you know we do our best to get to as many questions as we can. We cannot get to all of them. There are more subscribers these days, uh, over 52 and a half thousand, and there's two of us, so we can't get to all of them, but we absolutely do our best, and we so appreciate you asking and encourage you guys in the community, if you know the answer to a question being asked, please help us answer those questions as well, and we'll chime in as we can. All right, we'll see you back here next week. Thank you so much for being a part of the community. We're loving learning with you, growing with you, staying pretty well together, and we'll see you back here really soon. Thank you, take wonderful care.